Any similarities between Joseph now and maybe Rooney when he was a younger guy with Manchester United? Um, yeah, I guess you could, you could say that. I haven't thought about it, but um, as far as just ruthlessness in the box, um, fearlessness, um, the way they play the game, you know, just going hard all the time, um, just throwing their body around and, and doing whatever it takes to score goals. Um, I think that's and now the, the room that we're seeing now is a little bit different than the room that came to Mercedes Benz Stadium. What's been the biggest difference in him? Yeah, I think he's fitter now. Uh, I think he understands this team, how they want to play a little bit better. He understands his teammates and, and the strengths and, and weaknesses that some of them have. Um, they're they're playing well at home, and uh, we know that they're on a good streak. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a, a tough challenge for us, uh, but they play tonight, so we'll be able to. to see some of that and uh, they get worn out. Y'all, uh, you know, unfortunately keep losing fullbacks and keep plugging in new guys and keep rolling along. What's been the, the key to that ability just to maintain formation and shape and everything despite personnel? Yeah, I think it's a uh, credit to the guys that have stepped in that uh, they get up to speed quickly, that uh, everybody on the team is, is aware of the responsibilities of, of different positions on the team. You never know when you're going to have to step into a different position, help somebody out. Uh, so it's important that uh, guys understand not just uh, their own role in their own situation, but other guys' roles as well. Um, can't be understated how important that is. And we're reaping the benefits of guys being able to do that. And, um, that's that's a big part of, uh, of a season-long team. Um, guys being able to step in for injured players and uh, and get the job done. What you talked about Joseph's ruthlessness. What also stands out to you about what's allowed him to set this scoring record that you're anything to say see of, of what he's been able to accomplish? Um, yeah, playing with really good teammates like myself um, yeah, definitely helps him. <laughs> I share the MVP. Or, uh, <laughs> I think he should. Uh, more importantly, the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he uh, he puts himself in good positions. You know, he he's a striker that understands what his job is, and that is to, to score goals, to be in the box, and. Um, you know, I think that some forwards some, sometimes get a little uh, anxious to get on the ball and they drop, they drop off 20 yards from goal to get some touches and they want to just be in the link up play and um, that's not really Joseph. Uh, you know, he stays up there, he stays in between the center backs right where it's challenging, right where it's difficult, right where he's playing 2v1 most of the game and um, he's not scared of that responsibility. And, um, he understands that when he makes runs, he makes them hard, and uh, he goes all out every time. And when he does that, he's successful a lot of the time. Is this versatility too? I mean, that he can do that. It seems like you know, the header is left foot, right foot. He doesn't seem. It seems like he can he's always finding a different way to put it in the net. Yeah, definitely. He does whatever it takes. Um, for someone his size, he's very, very good in the air. He's so powerful that he's able to get up in the air and hang up in there. Um, he, he can jump early, and jumping early is key when you're playing against larger defenders because they, they can just get on top of you if you don't jump early. And um, he's, uh, yeah, he's always working on it too. Um, he practices, always throws his head in there, even, even with a broken nose. Um, he just doesn't back down. So uh, he doesn't have many weaknesses, especially inside the eight. Hey, one more thing too. Does he have that kind of, you know, y'all see in stars and all sports have a certain swagger to him and like the spotlight and like the pressure. Uh, I, it seems like he obviously has uh, that uh, trait as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you have to have it in order to be successful. Um, you know, he he understands um, what he brings to the table. He he plays with a confidence. Um, he's got a confidence about him and. Um, it's, it's a good thing. Um, you, know, you need to have that mentality, and he has it. Obviously. <laughs> uh, there are a few records, obviously, that he's either breaking or tied. Um, the single season gold record is obviously the one that's gotten the most attention, but um, the other ones are like the consecutive road uh, goal scored in road games and consecutive goals scored in games in general. 
Do you think those are maybe more, or, or are they overlooked? Are those other records that he's breaking a little overlooked compared to the, the total goals in the season? Uh, yeah, they're overlooked. Um, I didn't even know some of those, um, so obviously <laughs> overlooked a little bit. But, um, you know, that's, I mean, he's going to set a lot of records when he scores that many goals. I mean, I think that what that says about him is he's doing it so consistently. It's not like he's scoring like four goals in one game and then going three games and not scoring and then you know, scoring another three. He's not hot and cold like that. He, he's doing it week in and week out, home and away. It, it doesn't matter. And so, uh, you know, I, I guess you can't score as many goals as he does unless you are having a season like that and being consistent. But um, you know, it's, it's incredible. Michael, a little bit off topic, but what is your take on like a high-profile player like Slatan, which essentially refuses to play on turf, on our turf? Um, and for a team that plays on our turf, turf plays well, do you think playing services matter in terms of the league's reputation? Um, yeah, I mean, everyone's got their, their own opinions. I mean, I think that most players prefer grass. And, um, always been like that and I think it will be for a very long time but um, you know I, I can understand Zlatan's perspective you know he's coming off of a, a major injury and um, you know he thinks that this, what he brings to the team is more valuable than that one game and putting himself in that position so uh, he has that right you know, whether it's right or wrong it's, it's his and the team's uh, <clears throat> decision, but um, you know, we think that uh, Mercedes Benz is a great um, surface for us. You know, we play on it very well. Um, it plays very fast, and I think that when when teams come here, I haven't heard any complaints about it, and um, you know, they, they take very good care of it. it it's soft turf, and that's that's most important. I got one more question. We got it. how many Joseph in the season? <laughs> more than he currently has. <laughs>